I'm Ed Peter, LNS National Product Manager for Workboarding. Just like any CNC machining equipment, over time, steady rest roller bearings can become worn or damaged and need to be replaced. The type of damage can be the surface finish with either rough or flat spots, or they can become noisy, be difficult to rotate, or seize up altogether. Some items that affect bearing life include insufficient lubrication, improper steady rest alignments, clamping on rough surfaces, exceeding max roller bearing speed, contamination from chips, and engaging the workpiece while rotating at higher speeds. As the roller bearings begin to experience these issues, they can affect the finish and accuracy of the parts they are supporting. The process to replace these roller bearings is relatively easy. First, you need to actuate the steady rest and stop it in mid-range. This will expose the middle roller bearing pins and allows room to remove the outer roller bearings without interference from each other. When the steady rest is mid-range, the hydraulic line should be disconnected for safety reasons to prevent accidental operation of the steady rest while servicing. Once the hydraulic lines have been disconnected, the next step is to remove the outer chip guards and middle roller stripper. The roller bearings can then be removed from each arm by removing the bearing pins. The bearing pins are two pieces that screw into each other from both sides of the steady rest arms. Using an Allen wrench in each screw, they are loosened counterclockwise until they disengage. Once the bearing pins have been removed, the roller bearings will slip out of the slots in the arm. The SLU series uses a single straight roller pin for the middle roller bearing that is held in place by a small set screw under the middle roller stripper. This screw needs to be loosened prior to removing the pin. This is a good time to inspect roller pins for damage and replace if necessary. The new roller bearings slide into the slot in the arms and the roller pins are reinserted from each side and screwed together. Once the roller pins are tightened, it is important to check the roller bearings to be certain they freely rotate. Next, you need to reinstall the chip guards. The middle roller stripper consists of two pieces that need to be adjusted to minimize the clearance between them and the roller bearing. The smaller the gap without restricting bearing rotation is preferred to minimize the amount of chips that can get between them. Next, we will install the outer bearing chip guards. The top or upper arm of the steady rest gets the full outer guard, and the opposite outer arm gets the smaller shield on the inside of the arm. Once these are installed, it is necessary to check the roller bearing again for free rotation. The additional scraper guard piece is installed over the outer chip guard and snug lightly for adjustment later. The steady rest hydraulic lines can be reconnected and checked for proper opening and closing. The additional scraper guard is set specific to the part diameter that will be supported. With the part stationary, the steady rest is clamped and the guard is adjusted until it is approximately 0.1 millimeters away from the part. Once this gap is achieved, the screws are tightened. After roll and bearing replacement, it is recommended to recheck the steady rest for proper alignment. To replace worn or damaged roller bearings, the process takes about 15 minutes. How often roller bearings need to be changed will depend upon your specific application process. If you need additional assistance, please contact us or visit www.lns-northamerica.com for more information.